The F-22 Raptor and the MiG-31 Foxhound are two of the most advanced fighter aircraft in the world, from the United States and Russia, respectively. Each aircraft specifically designs unique capabilities and tasks to be effective in air-to-air -air combat. Two decades ago, the F-22 Raptor, the first fifth-generation aircraft in history, entered service. It is essentially an aviation sniper and was developed to gain air superiority. It is responsible for approaching the enemy invisibly, destroying them from a distance, and retreating in a similarly undetected manner. Nevertheless, this has restricted the aircraft's weaponry. Its internal bays, designed to carry only air-to-air -air combat munitions, cannot accommodate potent missiles for striking ground targets. Russian experts perceive the MiG-31 heavy interceptor as a threat to the Raptor in the sky. Having the capacity to accelerate to 3,000 km per hour, it is a record holder for flight speed. The Americans refer to the fighter as Foxhound, while the Russian Air and Space Force refers to it as the Air Defense Special Forces. The F-22 is capable of reaching Mach 2.3 speeds, while the MiG-31 is the fastest modern combat aircraft capable of exceeding Mach 2.8. The Foxhound also possesses a substantial operational altitude advantage as it can climb to 26,000 meters in contrast to the Raptor's maximum altitude of approximately 20,000 meters. In comparison to the F-22's radar range of approximately 470 kilometers, the MiG-31 Zaslan M passive electronically scanned array radar system is more potent, enabling it to detect larger targets at greater distances, over 600 kilometers. This capability enables the Foxhound to operate efficiently as an airborne early warning aircraft. The MiG-31's radar is capable of detecting stealth aircraft, according to Russian experts. Once it locks onto enemy aviation, escaping its pursuit is extremely difficult. Of course, there are counter-arguments. Although Russian sources speak highly about the MiG-31's radar capabilities, Western military analysts contend that detecting and tracking a stealth aircraft, such as the F-22, would remain a difficult task. The extensive use of stealth technologies, including radar-absorbing materials, special shaping, and other signature reduction techniques, has drastically lowered the radar cross-section of the Raptor. The radar of the MiG-31 operates in the VHF-UHF bands, which has the potential to detect larger stealth targets at longer distances than traditional X-band radars. Nevertheless, detecting is not the same as achieving a dependable weapons-grade lock, particularly when confronted with a highly sophisticated stealth platform such as the F-22. The low probability of interception capabilities of the ANAPG-77 radar system, which the F-22 also uses, complicate detection efforts. The F-22's radar generates emissions that are difficult to detect by conventional radar warning receivers due to its ability to frequently alter frequencies. Consequently, the MiG-31 may not be aware of its tracking or targeting until it is too late. The precise detection capabilities and real-world combat scenarios are classified, and the actual performance would be contingent upon a variety of factors, such as the positioning of the aircraft, the parameters of the radar system, the environmental conditions, and the specific technological countermeasures. It is difficult to say for sure whether the MiG-31 could reliably lock onto an F-22 in the absence of classified military data. The F-22's superior agility and climb rate make it an exceptional choice for short-range engagements in terms of maneuverability. The Raptor has an advantage in scenarios where the MiG-31 is less maneuverable and not optimized for close-range dogfights. The American concept is that all operations should be conducted from a safe distance, at long range, using medium-range missiles, preferably long-range missiles, to prevent reaching the area where the potential adversary, particularly the Russian aircraft, has an advantage, which is primarily in maneuverability. In this scenario, the F-22 exhibits greater maneuverability whereas the MiG-31 possesses radar and missiles with a longer range. The R-37 missiles on the MiG-31 are more advanced and have a longer range and a greater speed, up to Mach 6, than the AM-120D missiles on the F-22.
The R-37's capabilities enable it to engage targets from beyond the retaliation range, thereby granting it a strategic advantage. The F-22 incurs significantly more operational expenses than the Russian plane. MiG-31's design enables higher sortie rates and reduced maintenance requirements, which is a critical factor in prolonged engagements or conflicts. The F-22 primarily uses precision munitions for air superiority and ground attack roles. However, it is unable to engage both air and ground targets as effectively as the MiG-31. Transporting nuclear payloads further enhances the MiG-31's strategic deterrence capabilities. The MiG-31 is the first Soviet fourth-generation aircraft. It is capable of performing combat missions in the most difficult weather conditions and at any hour of the day. It is equipped with bombs, air-to-surface missiles, and air-to-air -air missiles. Furthermore, this fighter serves as the principal launcher for the hypersonic Kinzhal missile. Four MiG-31 interceptors can control an airspace spanning 1,100 kilometers. The MiG-31 is capable of operating from improvised runways and rugged environments, such as ice runways in Arctic regions. This capability provides a strategic edge in scenarios where conventional airfields might be vulnerable. Although both aircraft have their own advantages, their operational efficacy is significantly contingent upon the specific operational environment. The F-22 Raptor is an exceptional choice for air-to-air -air engagements against other fighters due to its exceptional performance in short-range combat scenarios, stealth, and maneuverability. In contrast, the MiG-31 Foxhound provides substantial advantages in interception missions and versatility across a variety of combat scenarios due to its long-range missile systems, altitude capabilities, and speed. Now, do you think the MiG-31 can lock a F-22 for missile launch against it? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.